very competitive uh, outfit, Morecambe. I'm personally surprised uh, the fact that league position suggests they're struggling. Uh, current form not bad. You go and win at Wickham, you must be a good team. Um, you know, Ellison, good pro, scores special goals. I saw one this morning. We're looking through their goals. The manager, uh, Jim Bentley, is very believable, incredible as a manager. He was here watching us play with his assistant against Yeovil in the week. What a journey that is. We all know, we all know them distances, don't we? To, to doing his job to check us out and make sure they, you know, there's no surprises from us. So it's our job to provide a few surprises that maybe he didn't quite see on Tuesday night. I always think we're a different away team performance-wise than, than at home. So um, very competitive game and, you know, two teams that will be vying for the points and looking to beat each other. Obviously, Jordan Moore Taylor had a bit of an injury uh, at the weekend with the knee. Do we know the latest on, on what Jordan's injury is and how likely it's going to be, how long he might be out for? Still investigating it. Um, there was a, an amount of swelling that you've got to get through, mm -hmm. similar to the Harry Kane situation with his injury, albeit an ankle. So um, that one's still to be, to, to go with a definite answer, it's going to take a little bit more time, that's mm. what I'm saying. So he's clearly going to be unfit for this week. and No doubt. Uh, you know, how, I don't, I'm not sure if blow is the right term, but how, how annoying is it when you've, Troy Brown has got fit again and you've got Jordan fit again, and it seems that that's kind of the, the number one combination, and then Jordan goes down with an injury again. Yeah, we just thought we were getting back to it, everyone being available. And it's vitally important that because you can tell the number of games that we've got coming up in a very short time. Everyone is going to be needed. Now all of a sudden you take a player out, like Jordan or Taylor, your captain, your arguably your best footballer, your best player, and there's not there's one not available to you, a very important player. So that that makes life more difficult. But of course, being football, we're all sort of used to it, and that's why Tiz has put together a, a decent squad of players, and we've got other players to come in. Thankfully, Dan Seaborn's recovering, Luke Crowell's recovering. One was on the bench the other night, one wasn't. Um, we've got other players that can play centre back. You know, um, Dean Moxie did a, a good Dean, job for you on, Dean on Tuesday. Dean did a night. terrific job. So uh, Pierce can also go in alongside. So we've got options within the the, the squad that we've got. Thankfully, um, we much prefer Jordan Moore Taylor to be fit. Mm. He brings a quality to us. He can win the ball, which you know is not looked upon as a, as a quality sometimes, but he can win the ball and actually. He got injured by putting his foot into a, a situation that I personally didn't think he needed to. Um, have a bit more patience and anyway, he won the ball and the lad fell over and wasn't meant. Uh, it was actually very similar to the, to the earlier injury for Troy Brown against mm. Accrington. Won the ball and the opponent fell ov over him and onto him and therefore you know, created the damage that it's done. On the plus side, as you say, it looks like Luke Kroll is, is, is fit again after that long period out with the groin injury. Yep. Dan Seaborn, as you say, is getting back to it. So it seems that apart from, from JMT, everybody seems to be firing as well as they can be. Absolutely, yeah. Um, Troy Archibald Henville mm -hmm. is available. We know he, he does sort of limited training. You have to really manage his, his knees as such. So, you know, I don't think he could play twice in a week, but he's available once a week, for instance. Yep which is going to be vitally important. So um, with people like Dino having to be adaptable to play positions, it just means to say that we've got a very, very strong squad. So that's certainly going to be tested between now and the end of the season. And great to bring experience in there. The likes of Dean Moxie, who's played in all four divisions. Dan Seaborn, who's been around, yes. for once of a better term, been around the block a bit. You've got the likes of Robbie Simpson in there as well. Lloyd James, who's played around. You, you bring, yes. You're able to bring experienced lads in here. It's not like you're bringing, with respect, a, a Kane Wilson, who's a teenager, sure. coming in. Sure. Well, it's, the squad is made up of all sorts of different levels of ages, experience, pace, etc. Heading ability kicking ability, all those things that all sort of merge together. And Tiz is particularly adept at sort of matching those qualities up with each other. I was talking earlier, you know, it's a, this club over the years has been a club that's produced young players. They're right to want to go higher, for instance, mm -hmm. Dean Moxie. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the advantage is eventually they come back, they want to live in a 
fantastic area and come home as such and end up playing the last three or four years of their career out with us and you know that experience is, is vital that they've been somewhere else come back and actually preach the gospel to our young players as per what a decent club they play for anyway and yet they should want to go on to higher stuff. Just been chatting to Kane Wilson obviously before his, his, his two yellow cards the other week he had a little run in the team what do you make of his progression from when he first came here at the end of the August transfer window? Well, at 17 years of age, he's, he's a naive footballer. A strong, powerful, quick, naive footballer. And why wouldn't you be naive <laughs> at, 17. at 17 years of age? So, in a way, that's what they have let him out for, to gain some experience, to gain some competitiveness. Um, Kane has got to make decisions in play like every footballer's got to do when to challenge when not to challenge you've got a yellow card mm, no I'll leave that one okay he hasn't quite got that right yet so um, thankfully it's not cost us and he's going to be an asset to us to the end of the season because he's a, he's a lad that can learn he's he's got all the attributes to be a top player and you know we're proud to be part of his development you look at the next four games, Morecambe this weekend, who are not out of the relegation shuffle by any stretch. You've Port Vale, who again similar, similarly in that vein. Then you play two playoff rivals in Swindon uh, and also in Lincoln City. Three of them away from home. Is there? Have you looked at this as a particular kind of block of games where you say we need eight points out of it, we need whatever number of points out of it? Do you, have you approached no, it like that at all? No. Next game. That might be me. Tiz could be thinking something different from his managerial point of view. Um, it's getting to the sort of serious end or the business end that people quote of the season. You know, everything that's gone on so far, injuries, losses, great defeats, last minute winners, a crew for instance, put all that into the mix and it now counts for nothing other than where it's put us at this time. We have a couple of games in hand and a lot to play for. You can look at league tables or you can look at form tables or you can look at both <laughs> in relation to each other. Uh, for instance, um, Crawley. Crawley are not only creeping up, they're fairly high up in the form table. Yeah. So they're going to be a tough opponent, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Port Vale fighting for their lives. We saw Yeovil the other night defend their goal with their bodies. That's a team that's been struggling. Two or three defeats. Of course, they've had some, some glamour and glory of the cup uh, situations this season already, but they wanted to defend their goal, and they did. And I would think their manager was particularly delighted at a hard-fought win against a good team, a draw against a good team, having followed their earlier win against us. Mm -hmm. So they've took four points off us. Well, that's going to go a long way to their saving grace uh, you know to remain in division two um i particularly like the the oval manager i thought he put out a really competitive team and yet i have to say that we were unlucky not to get the three points on that particular night so do you know what we're gonna have to go and make up for it at, at morecambe